Vertigo is usually understood as loss of balance or spatial disorientation. It's the sensation that you might feel like you're spinning when you're actually not, or you may feel like your surroundings are in motion when they're actually not. And I have tried to integrate that feeling into my new work. Each knot of vertigo has its own color and the combinations are creating a palette and I believe that transports us listeners while we're in it. The artistic language of vertigo is for me full of hypnotizing and geometric figures. Maybe this is appearing to me as irregular cycles of life because I like to think of them as random currents of our everyday life basically. I can say I created the music of Vertigo in an intercentury collaboration with Monteverdi. Claudio Monteverdi played a big role in development of form and melody, and he can be seen as the bridging artist between Renaissance and Baroque, because he was morphing Italian music into something unheard, something to be admired and to be studied in the future centuries. In his compositions, I see existing styles turn into new ones where musical languages melt and reconstitute themselves. The technology we used to master this album allowed us to render such distinctive tone for the album. The time is in constant change and the audience is experiencing the ground being lifted and rotated in such unsystematic manner. I feel when Vertigo is on, we are confronted by an elastic and liquid time where music goes both onwards and backwards at the same time. And there are positionings of musical elements within the songs. They are meant to work in juxtaposition to each other. This whole thing creates to me a balanced chaos or a structured improvisation. And music, as one of the most abstract forms of art, alters now our senses in most unusual ways. Well, the whole purpose of creating such enigmatic and puzzling work, which interferes with our fundamental sensual orientations, is to take us perhaps a little bit out of our comfort zones. Because I see we pursue our daily lives with such overly auto-controlled behaviors, and without even noticing how computerized we became, and very good at ignoring our spiritual qualities. In that sense, it's not only just refreshing, but also significantly important to be able to lose the sense of time and just be the essence of life. <laughs>